So I use the term life saving a lot in my videos because there's a lot of features in DaVinci Resolve that make life and editing just so much easier and so much faster. And the Magic Mask is one of my favorites because it's going to save you so much time and it's so easy to use. DaVinci Resolve does like 90 to 100% of the hard work for you. So today I'm going to show you guys how I use the Magic Mask personally for my workflows. And I'm also going to show you a bonus uh, transition that I like to use that looks way harder than it is and we're gonna use the magic mask for that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Said first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your clip is selected that you wanna work on. And then you're gonna go hop over to the fusion tab. We're gonna to wanna to hit shift spacebar. Then we're gonna add in a magic mask node. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw on our mask. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in stroke mode and it's gonna be add. And then we're just on either one of these viewers you're going to want to just draw a line throughout our subject and you can see uh, it did a pretty good job right there so you can see your hands missing here so what we can do is we can go over here and we can add in the hand or we could also go over here to this other window and it'll do the same thing for us now let's say it was selecting something that we didn't want it to select like over here what we could do is we could actually go in here and instead of add we can hit subtract and it's gonna start subtracting all the stuff that we don't want. All right, so now we have a pretty good mask set up. And what I'm gonna do for this one is just click better. Because it does exactly what it says it does, it's gonna just give you a better mask. Then what we can do is go over here to matte, and then we can mess with the blur. And you can see on the right hand viewer there how it's gonna change it. Um, a lot of times when you're masking, uh, it's gonna give you a very hard edge and it's it might look a little bit unnatural. So it helps to blur the edges and then you can go to a road and you can see here that we have an almost perfect mask without having to ever use the polygon tool and spend a ton of time masking things out frame by frame all right so now that we have our main reference set up what we want to do is we want to go back to tracking and then i'm going to go click on this middle one here um it's track forward then track reverse and the reason why i'm going to do that is because i am here in the middle of this clip so you're going to want to track that because if we move a frame forward you can see the mask disappears so let's go ahead and click this and it's going to take a little while. All right, so then when we hop over back into the edit page, you can see we now have this girl walking through space. All right, and we can also do some other cool stuff with the magic mask in the color page as well. Um, we can go over to the color page and we can go over to the magic mask tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the quality to better. I'm going to select this mug and I'm going to turn on the mask overlay. Now we can go ahead and track it to the end. So now that we have it all tracked, what we can do is we can go over here to the color wheel. So I can actually turn down the exposure and make the mug look black. I could change the color of the mug and do all sorts of crazy stuff with that. I could make the mug yellow if I wanted. And you can see there's tons of cool different ways that you can use this magic mask tool. All right, now I wanna show you guys a cool masking transition that you can use. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go about a second or two backwards in between my first clip here. And then I'm gonna to want to cut that. Then I'm gonna duplicate that. And now I'm gonna go into uh, the fusion page and I'm going to add another mask. Then I'm gonna draw the mask on just like I did before. Then I'm gonna track that from the beginning to the end. All right, then I'm gonna go back to the edit page and I'm gonna go about halfway in between that clip that we just did. And I'm actually gonna drag my video. So it's about halfway in between right there. So what I wanna do now is add a slide right transition. Then I'm gonna to wanna to check the motion blur. I'm going to want to up the quality and then the shutter angle. And then you're going to want to throw in a push transition right here. And you want to bring that to the end of your clip. And then I'm going to change this to about five or six frames. We're going to add in motion blur. And then there you go. That's your transition. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up the video for today. I hope you found this tip useful. And I definitely will be making more masking videos in the future. So with that being said, guys, if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.